Hey guys, this is Naresh. So in this tutorial, I will tell you how to use the auto IT tool in Selenium. And uh, before we uh, see how do we use that, we just want to know uh, why we are using an auto IT tool in Selenium. So what happened in Selenium, because same Selenium limitation is that it can only interact with browser. There may situation arises when we have to interact with some elements which are not on the browser. For example, when we try to upload a file, it shows us a box, which is a Windows box. In that, we have to select a file. So our Selenium script is not able to interact with that. Or there can be any other uh, Windows also to which we need to interact in our automation script. So for that, Selenium provides an out-of-the-way box solution in which we can integrate Auto IT with Selenium. Okay, so I will show you how we can do that with an example. So first, uh, for using the Auto IT tool, you have to go to the Auto IT website. So this is the Auto IT website. You can just type in Google. You can search for Download Auto IT. It will show you this website. You just go to the website, click on Download Auto IT. Once it get downloaded onto your system, you are good to go to use the Auto IT tool. Okay. So before we write the script in Auto IT, I will let you know how do you write the script on Selenium and then we can write in a script on the auto it so here i have already defined my properties and i'm using a chrome driver in that i have given the path of my chrome driver.exe second i have also initialized my driver now i have to open the website which will ask me for uh, some form or maybe something in which i can get a windows box so there is one website which i have found uh, on google it's a sample website so this is a website in which i can choose some file and after choose some choosing the file i can click on the press button and it get uploaded so all these things we can go ahead and uh, automate with selenium but when we click on choose files after that the window which is coming up this is where you can see it's written open at the title this is a windows uh, window or you can say windows box in which selenium cannot interact with the, this uh, this uh, element or uh, this uh, window so for that we will use the auto id okay so first we'll try to open this website from a selenium code which will be as usual which we're doing before so it will happen with a command driver dot get and then you have to give the url so let me just copy this okay and once the url get open i just want to maximize the window so that my driver is able to see all the elements so it will driver dot manage dot window dot dot window dot maximize okay so now I what I can do I can uh, try to in instantiate the browser button and uh, if you see in the file you will see there is a button here which says choose file so I want to click this button for clicking this button I need to see what is the locator of this button if I click on inspect uh, it will show me the locator of input type file and name equal to a file so I can use name equal to a file as my X path. So let me see if the X path is working I will do control F and because it's an input tag so I will give input okay and in the square bracket there's an attribute called name so I will give name and you can see the name here is given up file so I will write its value like this there's a quote and then up file I will close the quote close the brackets you see it's highlighted now so that's mean this X path is correct okay so I will copy it from here because I want to click on this so I have to write a command for that I have to get hold of that and then I need to click on that for that what I will do I will say web element I can give any name here I can call it as browser button or browse button and then I can give driver dot find element and I want to find with xpath Okay, and here I can give my xpath expression. 
which is this one which I have copied okay and semicolon at the end okay so what it will do it will try to hold this button which I have shown you okay and I want to click on that so I will type browser button dot click okay so what my script will do this will open this URL and it will click on this button and now this window will appear now here we have to run our auto IT script okay so for that what we will do there's a class uh, class called process in Java so we will I will put that class name here and I will create a variable P of that. After that, there is a runtime class R U N T I M E, and I have to give a dot here. And in that, there is a method called got runtime, and then I will call exec execute. And here I have to give a file name of the auto IT script. So at the end, I will tell you how to create that file name. But for now, we are not uh, giving anything. We are keeping it blank. I will click on here. Okay. And there is a command called p dot wait for. So it's p dot wait for. So what it command will do till this line is get completed successfully. It means, for example, you have given some file name here, an auto IT file name here. Let me call it as auto IT file dot exe. Okay. So what this line will do till the time this exe get completed. That's mean all the commands under this are executed. For that time, this program will not go forward. And as soon as auto IT file dot exe commands get executed completely. After that, only it will go forward after this line. Okay, so we will just give p dot wait for. Now the work of auto calling the auto it file has been completed. Now we just have to click on that button given here uh, on this web page so that we can upload the file and move forward. So if I see its uh, locator, it's there are two locators given value and type. So maybe I can use type equal to submit here in my XPath. Okay, so let me just type here. Type equal to submit. Okay, so it has highlighted. That's mean my XPath is correct. I will copy from here. And here again, I have to repeat the same step. Web element. Okay, and I can give name as anything like I can give it name as press then driver dot find element by dot xpath okay then I can give the xpath here and I will put a semicolon here and after that I will say press dot click so that it can upload the file and I will save my program so the program for selenium is completed now we need to create a program for auto IT so as I told you before once you install the auto IT on your computer it will uh, it will show you one two of the shortcuts one it's called editor and another is called auto IT windows info okay so these are the two two shortcuts which will be used to create the auto IT script so let me click on this one okay so right now what I have done I have written down the scripts already on the auto IT so I will show you what exactly how uh, what it is doing so this is our auto IT script let me just take to the right and this is our page where we want to upload a file so as soon as I click on choose file it shows me a window okay now we will open one more window or one more application which is auto IT info okay so let me just take this to the right also okay so what happened that as soon as my window get open 
what I want I want to type something here on the file name okay so if you see I will click on this finder tool and I will drag this to the file name so it will show me the element that it means this is an edit element and its name is edit instance one okay and the window name is open all right now we can open our auto IT script what we have written on auto IT script okay so what our auto IT script says it says control focus and then we have to give the title of the window okay so here the window name is open so we have given the title name as open and you have to put comma and then you have to give the name of that window but that is optional because uh, we can give name or we can just leave it as it is after that we have to give comma okay and after that on whatever element we have to set a focus we have to give the name of that so you we have seen the name of that uh, text box is edit one so here we have given edit one okay so once we have set the focus on that we need to type something and for type something on the auto ID script you have to type control set text okay after that again you have to give the title and then you can leave this optional where we have to give the name of the window and after that you can give a comma and then again the name of that window name of the text box which is edit one then again comma and then the the, uh, the the name file of the, the name of the file which you have to enter so I have to enter sample here okay why because I have a sample file on my computer I'm not giving a path here because I am storing the sample file on the default path if I need to select something from uh, the path which is not default I need to give complete path name something like C drive and then I can give the complete file for that but I'm not giving any path here okay then I have just uh, given a weight here so this is a hard weight you can say so my uh, script will get halt for five seconds so we have to give in milliseconds so I have given 5000 milliseconds okay then the third command which we can use is control click now what I have to do once I have typed in there I need to click on this open button so if you go to finder tool and you go to open so it will show that its name is button one okay so the same way we have done before we will do it again we will type control click and then open comma double quotes then again comma and then button one okay so this is the complete scripts which I have written so once you write that you have to save it and uh, also want to show you one more thing that this uh, auto IT gives you help also when we are typing our commands so if you type control click like for example like this C O N T so you can get everything in the pop-up window so you don't have to worry you don't have to remember everything auto IT tool will give you these uh, hints okay so for now I'm just removing it okay so once you save it okay so I have already saved it so I don't have to worry once you save it what I have done I have gone to the root folder and I have copied the auto ID script here let me show you the root folder here also okay delete that okay so this is the root folder where I have written sample auto IT Okay. now we have to run this file from our selenium script so that it runs successfully now what I'm doing I'm going to click a right click on this and there are many options given for compiling the auto IT script so I will select compile script x64 because it is says for Windows 10 okay and it's a 64 bit so I will click on this and as soon as click on this it will give me an exe file which is sample script auto IT dot exe so I will copy this okay and I will paste here all right now I can run this program and I will hope it work perfectly for us okay now I'm going to doing a right click on that then run 
run as java application so it has opened the window type sample and click on press see the file has been uploaded now and it also shows as the file content because uh, this uh, this sample file the sample URL it shows the content of the file also so this is the way we can use the auto IT tool for uploading a file and auto IT tool can be used of many other operations which is not possible in Selenium okay so before we close this uh, I just want to show you once more time what we have done we have set the system property we have initialized the driver and then we have opened the website through driver.get we have maximized the window through driver.manage.window.maximize and then we have clicked on the button which is a browse button which has opened a box for us a windows box for us and uh, after that we have uh, we have clicked on the click uh, button so that it get open once it is done I am using my auto IT script so what I have done I have used a class process and through that I have given runtime.get runtime.execution and name of my auto IT script and then I have waited for that process so I have said p.wait for and what this p.wait for will do it will wait for this script to get completed once it is done I have clicked on another button which is called press and my file got uploaded and if you see the auto IT script let me open this okay so we have done a control focus on the edit box on the box which I can type after that I have typed it into the box through this command control set text and after that I have clicked on the open button on that box that's it very simple scripting on the auto ID so I can just close, uh, click on this after that we have compile it and for compiling you have to do a right click and do a compile script 64 see it both are in your root folder okay and uh, sample file is already there with me I can just show you where the sample file is on my computer so I've just keep it on the users profile my default profile so I don't have to give path into the scripts so this is a sample file which has sample 1 2 3 4 and we have seen when we have run this uh, run this it will it has shown us that the file has got uploaded okay so there are many other things which we can do for auto id so maybe in my next tutorial i will tell you what are the other things which we can do with the auto id tool thank you for now